This summer, my family planned a trip to Jamaica to reconnect with our roots. For me, it had been seven years since my last visit. It was nice to have the entire family together. Even though everyone lives in the U.S., they're all scattered all over the place and they don't see each other as often as you would think. In particular, it was good for my nieces and nephews to reconnect. We went for two eventful weeks. The first week was in Negril on the west coast of the island. The second week was in Runaway Bay on the north coast. This week was interrupted by Hurricane Beryl. We visited the village where my father grew up. My father's family was known for having the best fruit trees around. My uncle prepared coconuts for us and we drank our fill of coconut water. He decanted the leftover coconut water in a five gallon bottle and we took it back to the hotel. It was mango season when we were there. There were 17 of us in the group and we each ate at least five fresh mangoes right from the tree. We went back to the hotel with at least a hundred mangoes. We popped into the local school to see where my uncle studied. He's my father's youngest brother and that school was built after my father left the village. After visiting the village, we went to the nearest town, Black River, for lunch. Another day we went to YS Falls. It's a waterfall with a zipline course through the forest. My brother, sister, and a couple of nieces and nephews gave it a go. We spent a day in Montego Bay, where we visited Sam Sharp Square, the Montego Bay Cultural Center, and Doctor's Cave Beach. Our last stop before leaving the grill was the West End and the famous Rick's Cafe. 
It has a big party atmosphere and there is also cliff diving which keep the tourists entertained. Halfway through our stay in Negril, we heard about a hurricane that was headed toward us. The good thing about hurricanes is that they can be predicted and tracked a long time before they hit. We did get caught in Hurricane Barrel, but at least we had a week's notice. This is my second time being caught in a hurricane on holiday. They normally have at least a three-day impact. The day before the hurricane, everyone is preparing. The day of the hurricane, you're confined to your hotel room. And the day after the hurricane is dedicated to cleaning up. We arranged several excursions before arriving on the island. We didn't want to get stuck at the resort the whole time. However, when the hurricane came, we weren't able to do most of the things we had planned for the second week. But on the bright side, we made it back safe and sound. The one excursion we were able to do in the second week was to visit my mother's village. I lived here when I was a kid and I remember walking these streets and running around the house. Most of my parents' siblings have died or moved away, so the villages don't have the same feeling as when we were younger. They feel almost abandoned by the people of my age and younger. Thanks for watching this week's video. I'll see you next time.